So recently we've had another seller come to us with a suspension for their seller, uh, seller fulfilled prime eligibility privileges. Now, when I first got this case, I knew a case like this required a keen attention to detail, and I thought there's no paralegal better to do this than Jason Powell. Jason Powell has been with us for quite some time now, and of all the paralegals we work with, he's got an incredible, incredible attention to detail. So I chose Jason to work with me on this case. Uh, prime eligibility removal issues. Uh, you want to tell Amazon the specifics why orders were not being shipped on time. So in this case, uh, after finding that root cause, we're able to build upon it, say, okay, we, we closed that second warehouse, we'll just consolidate our whole staff and dedicate them to getting orders out on time. Now, anytime you're preparing a plan of action, if you can identify the cause and the problem, then it's pretty easy to find a solution. In this case, the seller had two storage facility warehouses. He was self-fulfilling out of both warehouses. Turns out the second facility, which he had just opened trying to venture out and grow his business, was understaffed, undertrained, and this staff totally screwed up the orders. Screwed it up to the point where his metrics were almost, you know, there was almost no way of coming back from that. They were so poor. Now, once we identified what caused it, we worked with him. We said, we have to find a solution. We have to find something that's going to show Amazon and guarantee to Amazon this isn't going to occur going forward. After talking with Jason, talking with myself, the client thought the best option would be close down the second warehouse, reallocate all those employees into the single warehouse, which would provide even better metrics than when they started, and it would also give these undertrained employees the chance to train with the individuals who were already staffed and situated. As soon as we did this, we sent our plan into Amazon. After the second appeal, Amazon recognized the cause, recognized how our client fixed it, and this attention to detail won the appeal. So we had Brett Sondike, our director of client relations, was the first person to speak with this seller, and he did a killer job of getting all the information that we need and explaining to the seller how we can help and also how he could help himself. The seller decided to hire us, which is a huge, huge compliment to us that a seller with this experience, someone this good, is trusting us to get their account back. And we don't take that confidence lightly. We know this is vital. This is jobs. This is income. This is payroll. Um, Travis Stockman is such a fantastic lawyer on our team. He's been working us for several years. He had eight years of litigation experience prior to joining us. And I couldn't be more blessed to have him devoted to our sellers and, and personally to be such a great, great friend of mine. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to many, many years of working with Travis. Jason Powell is another home run hitter, okay? College educated, taking the LSAT so he can go to law school, and we're gonna make a deal with him to keep him here through law school and keep him with us his entire career so that eventually I can retire in peace. And then also, you know, Brett Sondike, I, I don't think there's a more empathetic person that could talk to sellers. I mean, he just understands what we do every single day. He understands Amazon plans of action and Amazon appeals. He understands the value of seller fulfilled prime. And we just had a fantastic, fantastic team working on this case.